This reality star turned rapper may not claim a spot on the A-list, but the performer has her toes in both reality TV and music, and has been making a name for herself in show business for years. Let's go behind that distinctive laugh to discover the untold truth of Chanel West Coast. If you think Chanel West Coast has a memorable moniker, then you're proving that the star was right when she opted to ditch her real name for something more worthy of a successful celebrity. She told MTV in 2015, My real full name is Chelsea Chanel Dudley. In my opinion, Chelsea Dudley does not sound like a rapper. So I was like, you know what, I'ma drop both those names and just go by Chanel. Granted, Chanel is definitely catchy, but it's also apparently too common, which is how West Coast ended up with an unexpected and accidental addition to her stage name. While trying to choose a URL for her MySpace music page early in her career, she found that like all best email addresses, no versions of her name were available. She explained her thought process to MTV saying, So I was like, you know what, I'm a West Coast rapper, so maybe I'll just make my URL Chanel West Coast. And then it kind of stuck with me and people started calling me West Coast like it was my last last name like what up west coast so be sure to get creative when coming up with your own stage name you never know what will catch on Chanel was raised by her mom in North Hollywood, and it appears as if the two share a loving relationship. After noting the values that her mother instilled in her, West Coast wrote to her, I want you to know that no matter what we have been through, you are the greatest mom in the world to me. While the star obviously had a special relationship with her mother growing up, the same can be said for her father, but for a different reason. When West Coast wasn't with her mom, she stayed with her dad, who lived in New York City and worked as a DJ. When he would perform at clubs, he would take his eight-year-old daughter with him, where she experienced some very fond early memories of sitting under the DJ booth while everyone else partied. The woman who became a rapper explained the influence the experience had on her, saying, I've always been around music and I knew it's what I'd do for the rest of my life. I didn't have a choice. West Coast isn't shy about her use of cannabis, even explaining to LA Weekly that some of her somewhat ditzy demeanor is because she's usually stoned, even on TV. We're in Missouri. We are about to go perform at Knuckleheads. Yeah. In fact, marijuana is something that has been part of the star's life since she was surprisingly young, and is something that her family actually relied on to get by. West Coast claimed that at one point her mom grew marijuana for extra income. It's unclear whether or not West Coast was aware of her mother's illegal activities at the time. However, the star also revealed that she started her marijuana habit at the age of 11. While using cannabis has apparently remained a part of West Coast life in the years since, she addressed her use of weed when she was faced with a tragedy in 2020. The star took to Instagram on Feb 3rd to post a tribute to her friend who had died, writing, I will do all I can to make sure to fight against addiction issues, and I will try to help as many people as I can get off drugs because I should have done that for you. I should have went to rehab with you and quit smoking weed and did whatever it takes to get you on track. Like plenty of other celebrities, Chanel West Coast had an alternative kind of education. She was homeschooled during the last two years of high school, and with all that extra time at home, she was free to pursue her creative endeavors. That included her blossoming rapping career, which she started when she was just 14. The star opened up to LA Weekly about her inspiration, saying, When I first started rapping, I was like, I'm gonna be like the female Eminem. With that ambition fueling her, her biography states that she took dancing and singing lessons while listening to plenty of hip-hop to help hone her skills. She eventually took her music public when she was 17 via her MySpace page, and got her career breakthrough in 2012. That was when Lil Wayne personally invited Chanel to his Miami studio to play him some of her music. Apparently, he liked what he heard because he ended up signing West Coast to his label. Whether or not she grew up to be a female Eminem is debatable, but her work with Lil Wayne's label means that her name is listed along alongside other big-time artists like Drake and Nicki Minaj, which is pretty impressive. Chanel West Coast may be famous for her work on MTV's Fantasy Factory and Ridiculousness. However, the rapper thinks that her on-screen gigs may have hurt her music career. I'm gonna Do pee it. in my pants or something. <laughs> <laughs> she spent years as a supporting character for professional skateboarder Rob Deerdeck, as opposed to working on what she was passionate about. Even before taking the job, she was skeptical whether it was the right thing for her to do. She explained, the first thing that crossed my head was, is this going to ruin my chances of being taken seriously as an artist? Granted, while being on MTV could potentially help the star's hip-hop aspirations, the network apparently refuses to promote her music and she didn't hold back from criticizing them, saying, they're so stupid and, like, disrespectful and rude. 
When West Coast finally got a chance to get her music in front of her TV-loving fans thanks to VH1's Love and Hip Hop, it appeared that her time spent toiling away as a sidekick helped paid off for her. She was finally able to focus on her true passion and personality. Am I f***ing? I'm, I'm up there with Kanye and Drake and everybody else. Whoa. Whoa. Chanel West Coast's career as a rapper may have faltered early on due to her TV work. However, she also might have struggled to find success in the music scene for a different reason. There happened to be another rapper with a similar image who was skyrocketing at the same time that the IB like performer was trying to make her name. That rapper is Iggy Azalea. At 25, West Coast was frustrated with her career at that point and argued with her producer on whether or not she needed to change her image to be more like Azalea. In comparing the artists, a profile from LA Weekly in 2014 somewhat cynically noted, the two have plenty in common. Both cultivate an image that is equal parts baller and cheerleader. Both borrow hip-hop tropes to somewhat boring effect. Middle-class white women rapping about their struggle to acquire labels and diamonds is about as edgy as a Sex in the City movie. Ouch, despite the similarities, Azalea was the more dominant artist at the time since she was riding high on top of the Billboard charts thanks to the hit singles like Fancy. Given her years spent in the entertainment industry, one would think Chanel West Coast knows plenty of influential people in the business. Little Wayne, who co-signed Drake and Nicki Minaj, is the same person who co-signed me. I've won a BET award with Young Money. I got songs with French Montana, YG, Ty Dolla Sign, Snoop Dogg. After all, her network had to have gone up a notch when the rapper was signed to Little Wayne's label, right? Not so fast. She opened up to Billboard about the experience that same year, saying, I went to Miami, played him my music, and I just remember he sat back and said, man, that was stupid. I was like, yo, Wayne thought that was stupid. She added, as soon as he said that, I knew I was in. However, West Coast apparently wasn't as in as she thought. Despite her professional affiliations and position on a notable label, she apparently never had Wayne's actual number. Beyond that, at the time of the 2014 profile, she wasn't feeling the love from the other artists on the label. As a songwriter, you might assume that writing a song about another star is a touching tribute, but not all celebrities feel that way, particularly Basic Instinct star Sharon Stone. That became clear in 2019 when Chanel West Coast released her song Sharon Stoned, as well as a video that featured the musician dressed up as the actress in her iconic roles. In turn, Stone sued the rapper. Stone wasn't pleased with the fact that West Coast had used her name and her likeness without her consent, and felt that this was another example of West Coast using a celebrity's fame to help her her own career. West Coast released a statement in response saying that she was surprised since, according to her, Stone was supposed to be a part of the project. According to Chanel, Sharon pulled out of participating in the music video the day of the shoot after months of conversations, in-person meetings, two dance rehearsals, and even had her own ideas that she shared with myself and my team for the collaborative on the video. As of December 2019, a settlement appeared to be in the works, which means that she might be able to sort this out. Either way, they probably won't be working together anytime soon. Chanel West Coast is clearly living that Hollywood lifestyle, and in November 2019, she bought herself a house to match that enviable image. The reality TV star and rapper picked up a home worth over a million and a half dollars in the Hollywood Dell neighborhood. The three-bedroom, three-bathroom house was built in the 50s but had been recently renovated. The star took in touch on a tour around her home in March 2020. When guests arrive, they'll find that the house contains an attached two-car garage, high-end appliances, skylit hallways, and a private balcony off the master bedroom. The house may be on a small plot of land, but it features a beautiful backyard. Other features of the space include neon decor, gold accents, and black paper towels that don't actually work. When it comes to making money, Chanel West Coast's ventures aren't limited to her work in rap and reality TV. The star has been involved in two streetwear clothing lines and a cannabis subscription box that was curated by West Coast herself. West Coast used her background as the inspiration for Valleywood, a line of t-shirts and sweatshirts that she launched in 2019. Telling Seventeen Magazine, I came up with the name because I was born and raised in the Valley, but I'm still in the Hollywood scene. She described the apparel as overall casual with the potential to look dressed up depending on the accessories. Despite the fact that Valleywood doesn't seem to have been a grand success since the website was inactive as of May 2020, the star tried to take on the fashion scene again with the LOL cartel. If you like tie-dye and marijuana leaves, then this is the line for you. Speaking of marijuana, West Coast embraced that aspect of her brand again by teaming up with the Daily High Club in September 2018 to offer a cannabis subscription box to celebrate her birthday as well as an upcoming song release. One of Chanel West Coast's lyrics in her song, I Love Money, says, I don't care if you understand the meaning, but I won't stop pilling till cash hit the ceiling. 
That's pretty accurate considering she happens to have her fair share of funds. Thanks to West Coast's various professional endeavors, the multifaceted star has earned a modest yet impressive fortune. In fact, she's worth around $3 million as of May 2020, according to Celebrity Net Worth. Even without her rapping career, she makes quite a bit of money. She reportedly earned $81,170 as a full cast member of MTV's Fantasy Factory, took in an alleged $142,050 as the co-host of Ridiculousness, and supposedly made $174,830 for voicing the character Flips on the animated series Wild Grinders. While this all sounds impressive, her value was estimated at $6 million from a different source a year earlier than Celebrity Net Worth's estimate. Did the reality star turned rapper lose some cash? Or are these estimates just rough guesses? Either way, we're sure West Coast has no plans to stop signing more lucrative deals to boost up her bottom line. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite rappers are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.